Hey guys, how's it going? Nas here, and you are watching Shelby Street Diecast. And guess what? I got one of these. Well, I got more than one of these. So, I'm going to open another one of these. <laughs> I really love the HKS livery. I love all the art decos. I love everything on this really sweet Hot Wheels ID, which is pretty much... Um, a premium just without the base so I wanted to take it a step further and take one of these this is from the all-white GTR set so this is one of the uh, one of them from there so um, I have one sealed anyway and uh, you know uh, you might all hate me but <laughs> not the biggest fan of the whole white series so um, I don't know uh, it's just one of those things where I'm like, dude, I can, you know, pretty much just make something simply white. But, I mean, it has all these nice decals on the back, the lights, the headlights, all that. That's all really nice. So, I'm still going to preserve the casting for, um, I'm going to put the ID base on here and uh, see what that looks like. Might look good because uh, these have like, uh, you know, writing on the sidewalls. Anyway, let's open that up, let's drill these open, and uh, get this going. Okay, let's just get this bad boy out of the box. Ooh, there was something nasty on the blade. Not good. It's okay, good thing I don't care. Alright. I love this car, man. I was so happy when I found this. I found a couple, actually. A few with the assist from my boy Andre, and a few on my own, so... Yeah, this is better than the one I have um, that's already opened, so this is great for this project. A little bit of schmutz right there on the windshield, but what are you going to do? Ooh, you know what? I might change out the entire guts. Yes, this windshield's in good shape, so yeah, so we're going to do a full wheel and gut swap between these two. We'll see about the interior. Uh, I'm not sure how different they are, if there's a difference in shade, or one might be black. Alright, anyway, let's get these apart and uh, have a look at their guts! <laughs> Alright. started uh, using the slow method I noticed that it eats away at the metal a lot quicker it just kind of bites in and just shaves it off yeah, see that now I just need to clean it up a little bit there we go that should do it just been doing this long enough to remember to leave myself enough of the post for it to glue back together. Sometimes get a little too carried away and take a little too much out. There we go. Oh, there we go. Alright. So we're probably going to be taking everything. Let's put the there's the body. See the posts are nice and clean. If me or anyone else in the future would want to, you know, just tap them and use screws, they can because they're nice, nice and long enough for for the job. Okay, so this is my first time actually, guys, taking apart uh, an ID car. So this is going to be interesting. All right, let's get these shavings off. If you're new, this is my uh, shavings um, container. That's a lot of customs I've worked on already. <laughs> Those are all posts. All right, this is gonna be interesting. All right, guys, I'm gonna try to not pay too much attention to the camera, I'm sorry. Need to make sure this goes in right. Oh, 
Oh yeah, look at that. Perfect. Nice. Alright, let's not fuck up the other one. Don't get cocky, kid. Okay, whoa. What are you doing in there? Yeah, absolutely love doing this with the slow method. Just cuts it right off, man. Also, if you ever choose to do this, remember that uh oh, that you can lose your thought in the middle of this because you're doing five different things at once. Yeah, don't worry about what I was talking about. I have forgotten completely. Because I don't want to mess this up. <laughs> okay. God, it's such a good, like, paint job on this. Look at that. Such a good model, man. Alright, sorry. <laughs> We're customizing, not admiring. Eh, we can do both. Oh, good. Alright, sweet. She's free. No, she's not. She's being an ass. What's holding you on? There we go. I'm gonna get rid of these wheels. Oh, well, no, actually, I need to straighten those out. Okay, here's the shell. Oh, let's see. The numbers are in different spaces, so I guess different molds. Well, same molds, but like copy of copy type of thing. I don't know. Leave me alone. I don't know. All right. <laughs> so, here we go. Let's not mess this up. This is from here. This is from here. Okay, so. This one's... The white ones, we have a clear window. Well, it's not clear, but it's not as dark as this one. You can tell, I'm sure. And the interior on the white one is silver. That one was black. So, hmm. All right, let's get rid of the silver. I'm gonna put this black here. I want that card to be darker. What'd you get in there? Something not lining up? Hmm. No, we're good, we're good. Okay, let's put this back. Okay. Uh, alright. Uh, we're gonna need this, we're gonna need this, and we're gonna need... Yeah, so clear window, black interior. This is gonna go back on that. Okay, cool. Figure that out. All right, let's put her together without breaking it. Cool. All right, let's hope this metal base fits right in. And it does, like, flawlessly. Oh, that is awesome. We got a little snap, too. Yeah, it's kind of holding itself itself in. Sorry, having trouble speaking, apparently. Oh, man. All right. There you go. Something's not lined up. Hmm. Okay. Sorry, just something feels like a little wobbly or something, like something's not sitting on something where it should be. 
Right, let's try putting this together. Let's see, where did I bend that wheel? Right here? Yep. Well, that is what it is now. Okay. Interior. And base. There you go, there's the white one. And it does look better with those, uh, with the text on the wheels, on the white, because it's so like, it's such a clean, clear palette, it needs more of something, in my opinion. I almost feel like that's not a bad switch. And, uh, yeah, and now the interior is not black, it's silver, so it's not as contrasty with black and white. I don't know, I think it gave it more, more depth. <laughs> All right, cool. So let me get another one of these so we can compare them better. Okay. Wait. Let's get this thing down. Let's get this thing down right here. All right. So here's the before. This is regular ID car, and we changed it with this guy. Which is now a premium. Premium HKS! There you go. Before and after. Oh yeah, I kinda, I like that. Really? Yeah, this isn't rocking at all. This is really swaying. So something's not snapped on somewhere. So, I thought the car didn't, the car kinda looks like it's sitting a little too high. Focus please. There we go. Yeah, I don't know. Something's not right. I mean, everything seems to be... Uh, maybe there's a little bit of a gap. But anyway, I'll figure that one out. The main part is, this is done. Uh, use this. With this. <laughs> Which actually, like I said, that looks pretty cool now. It looked cool before too, but I don't know. I have a sealed one um, of these, this set, so I'm good. So anyway, I don't regret this. I think this came out really nice. There we go. Cool. Alright, well, that's it guys. Thank you for watching. This was uh, this was it. Just a quick little wheels and guts swap. Hope you enjoyed it. All right, guys, live long and prosper, and remember, don't be assholes. See you next time. Hey guys, how's it going? Nas here. You're watching uh, Shelby Street Diecast, and uh, here we go. Here's our project for today. Uh, my lovely girlfriend Maggie um, ordered this for me. Um, with my card, granted, <laughs> but uh, these actually aren't too expensive. They're about, um, I think this sold for like three fifty or four dollars, and then there was like another four dollars for shipping. So, uh, not too bad. But um, I don't think there is a premium of uh, of our boys. Uh, what's his name's? <sighs> Honda. I know it's a Honda S two thousand. Man, why am I spacing on his name? But anyway, um, the guy that uh, Jesse lost his Jetta to in the uh, in the race. But anyway, there is no premium as far as I know. So there is a premium of the casting, which is this one. Uh, granted, this looks pretty good, and I'm not too happy about these wheels, to be honest with you. But um, if other wheels come along, I will switch, uh, switch them because I'm also taking the metal base and probably going to, let's see, yeah, I'll probably switch out the interior with this black interior. So it's just going to be all black without that red interior that's in there now. So there we go. All right. So I'm just going to take these apart and uh, make this happen. Woohoo! All right, guys. So let's take this bad boy apart first
Yeah, the slow method, man. Don't spin your freaking drills out of control. Just go slowly. It just snaps the, the tip right off. So. Ooh, ah. Yeah, I guess when you drill these in enough, you start to, like, get better techniques. And I'm sharing with you for free! <laughs> oh god, I don't even know which, um... What kind of drill I'm using. I just found one that was the best and uh, did what I needed it to do. Just needed to clean it up a little. There we go. Yeah, all right. Cool. Let's uh, get this bad boy apart. Um, hmm. Yeah, no, I don't need the backing. I'm not gonna put that back in there and do not wanna display it that way. But anyway, here we go. This is the beautiful freaking S2000. Always wanted one in my Fast and Furious uh, premium collection, and uh, finally I'm like, you know what, I'm just gonna make it. So let's uh, let's get this base and its guts into this car. I'm still not sure if I want to leave the red interior or not. I don't know. It kind of makes it more fun and colorful, but at the same time, with the black interior and black rims, it might look really good. All right. Well, let's find out. All right. Ugh, let's not bore you with the drilling. All right, here we go. I literally should have just kept it rolling because it took just as long as it took with the uh, first car. It was just like literally 15 seconds. All right, so let's see. This one had a clear window, which I'm going to keep because I think I want to go with the black interior. And that way it can be easy, more easily be seen, if I can learn how to speak. Alright, so, let's see, let's put these guys together, see how they look like. I recommend wearing gloves when you do stuff like this, that way you don't put your fingerprints all on the inside of the car and smear your finger juices all over the car. Like, just wear gloves. You don't have to spend, like, a whole lot of time cleaning it and putting, like, micro scratches into your car's finish. Respect the casting, y'all. You like that snap? Oh, man. Wow. Dude, that is good. I think these wheels are good, too these wheels work with it and you remember the red interior I think not having it shine too much is better like makes the car more sinister oh yeah Johnny Tran Tran I think Johnny Tran or Tra Trano something like that anyway Johnny <laughs> so cool man all right, cool. So let's see what uh, this thing looks like with uh, the opposite stuff. I'm so happy that everything like matches up. Oh, nice. This one now has uh, oh, a little license plate. Ooh, we need to. There we go. Holy crap, this might actually not even... Yeah, that's not even going to need glue. Well, it will, but it doesn't need it. <laughs> if you're not going to play with it, it's going to stay together. There we go. Uh, I think these rims work with it too, because they're chrome, and this car is silver. I think it worked out again. And uh, the darker windshield helps with the extreme of that interior red. All right. One thing I wish that this basic had its tail lights painted just like that. Look how much of a difference that is. It's just amazing. 
tail lights, Honda, the freaking license plate. And but those side freaking tempos are the best. So cool. At least the front stuff's there, you know, the headlights and the Honda thing. So lucked out there. So yeah, definitely man, now it like weighs more. I love this thing. Here, let me get the camera off so we can take a look at it better. Yo. There they are. There we go. So there's that beautiful snowflake type of paint job. I do really like these um the blacked out rims. I think that's not bad. Well, we'll see how that works. I might still change my mind and put something more flashy. I think the ones in the movie are like a chrome, almost like that snowflake type of style. But blacked out looks good. I mean, these, these wheels are rubber, you know, metal based. This thing really feels like it's a legit um, premium. All right. All right, so Mr. Donor, thank you. Now the donor looks good too, honestly. Um, that looks cool. Probably gonna save it just for the red interior, just in case something happens to me in the future, I wanna change it. But just looking at this car, like from this distance too, I think it needs to be black interior with the black, um, just everything just blacked out. I think it looks great. Yeah, I'm happy with this, holy crap. <laughs> Alright, cool. Alright guys, well, that's it. Thank you all so much for watching. My name's Nas. You've been watching uh, Shelby Street Diecast. Just a little gut swap for my uh, Johnny Trans um, S2000. Hope you all liked it. Live long and prosper, and remember, don't be assholes. Thanks for watching everybody.